Hello. So, right off the bat, I feel like y'all are done with whatever. Because when I was shuffling and I was hitting, every single 10 came out. Like, all of them. So, I feel like you're done with, I don't know, let's find out. Universe, can I get a spread for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, sun. Okay, hello. All right, oh, oh, okay. Maybe you're done feeling this way. You have five of cups. So maybe you feel discontent and you're, um, you don't want to anymore. You're done with it. You're letting go of that. Just gonna get more cards for Leo. Ew, you hella done. King of Swords, okay? Could be dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe a Capricorn. I get more cards for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just gonna get more cards for Leo. Okay, Page of Swords could have heard some bad news about something that made you feel some type of way. You could have recently got some news, maybe about a Gemini, the magician. Hmm. Yeah. News about someone you love, possibly a soulmate, two of cups. And I did, oh, well, no wonder you're done. A new cycle starting, and this uh, end of the cycle is ending. World card. Hmm. All right, let's see. I get more for Leo. Sun and rising with Venus for April 2019. Okay, you know, I don't know. Seven pinnacles. Okay. So, you see stuff happening for you. The work you're putting in, it's going. Yeah, King of Pentacles, it's going. Okay. That's what's up. Shit. All right, you have the five of wands. So you have two fives in your reading. So yeah, it's changing. Shit's changing. Either you're changing it or it's happening. Could be done with the Virgo. With the Hermit card. But I really think... You're changing yourself. You're you're really listening to yourself right now. Just can I get more for Leo? <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is a reading for the first to the fifteenth. Okay, my cards are all fucked up. This is a reading for the first to the fifteenth, but at the very last card is the tower. So something is ending. It could be between you and a soulmate. There's really not many pinnacles here, so I do feel like this is about a relationship. You got some news, and you figure out what that news is, but you definitely got some news about somebody that you're either talking to or with, you care about, whatever. Somebody important to you with the Two of Cups, very important. Definitely could be a karmic relationship because you got the tower in the world. So for sure, for sure. Yep, see, Ten of Swords. All the Tens came out, okay? Yeah, you're done with it. You're done with this competition. You're done with this combative energy. You're done. Um, I almost want to say feeling sorry for yourself or this person. You're done feeling sorry for them. <laughs> okay. Universe, can you clarify the Five of Cups for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm gonna take this one. Page of Pentacles. Okay, you could be discontent about a job, but discontent about an Earth sign. Strong Virgo vibes here. Um, could be Capricorn, Taurus. Maybe you're discontent. This is a page, so maybe they're acting childish in a way. Or you're just discontent about your job. Let me look at this card for a second. I feel like I'm going to from it. Yeah, I think they're being childish. And you're like ready to change that. But you do love them very much. But I think with the King of Swords here, you're probably going to cut them out. And it's going to cause some heartbreak with Three of Swords at the bottom. Whether it's them or you or both, definitely going to cause some type of heartbreak. Okay. Let me clarify the King of Swords. What's the King of Swords for Leo? Universe, what's the King of Swords energy for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the King of Swords? Okay. Hi, Priestess. You're cutting out secrets. You're cutting out... Could be a Pisces. Um... Could be a cancer. Yeah, I think you're cutting out secrets. And right after I said that, you got the page of swords. So yeah, you're 
Maybe you're keeping a secret. Maybe you secretly want to leave them and start a new cycle. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, three of wands, you're lacking. It's in reverse, so maybe there's a lack of progress with this person. And you want to change that. Just give me more on the High Priestess with the King of Swords. What's the High Priestess and the King of Swords for Leo? What's the High Priestess? Yeah, okay. Hello. Okay. Strength card. So, yeah, but yeah, this is you. All right. So, maybe you're keeping a secret that you want to leave. Maybe you need mental strength. With the King of Swords and the Strength card definitely could be some mental strength here. Or you're keeping a secret of some sort. Or you're just keeping something to yourself. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be a secret, but you're with... Okay, but it doesn't seem like very good news with the Page of Swords. So, what's this news for Leo? I think you already know what it is, because I strongly feel like it's you that is going to be telling this news and is going to be cutting something the fuck off. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, so... Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So this news is that maybe you want to start something with somebody new or somebody offered you something and you got to break it to somebody else. Y'all's readings are always so interesting. That's why I did the fire signs last because they're always long and they're always interesting and there's always some shit going on. So yeah, I definitely had to do the fire sign. I need my full energy to do y'all's. So anyway, yeah, there's a new... And it's like happy, like it's happier than what you're in. So you are going to break this news. And with the 5-5 five five here, you are going to make this change, okay? Because you, it already makes you happier. You might be single right now. You could be talking to multiple people. You might have to break it like to somebody that you found the one and that um, you're going to proceed with them. Or vice versa. It could go either way. But, um, okay. Hmm. Clarify the Two of Cups. Yeah, if it's either this old person or this new person that is absolutely a soulmate. And you feel that. You know that. The High Priestess, you feel it. Okay, yeah, for sure. The Two of Cups, clarifying the Two of Cups. Um, They're a soulmate for you. And you are starting a new cycle with the soulmate. Absolutely. I don't even... Can I even clarify the Two of Cups with the Two of Cups with the Two of Cups? No. Okay, yeah, that's it. Could be a Sagittarius. Maybe... You're lacking patience in this situation. Yeah, I think you're causing this tower. You are. For sure. That could be this competition card here. Maybe they feel like they're in competition with somebody else. Maybe they are Pisces that you're with now or that you're dealing with. Either way. And if they are, they could definitely feel it whether you've told them or not. So that could be why this Five of Wands is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Can I get clarification on the world? What's the world for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's the world? What's the world for? Okay, damn. Okay, that's too many. I'm about to spread all that shit out. Universe. Mm. What's the world for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Universe. What's the world? Okay, so you could either be ending something with a Gemini or starting something with a Gemini with a magician. Or you, like I said, you yourself are manifesting this new beginning. You want it now. Like You want it. You're the King of Swords. You're absolutely willing to cut out this situation. It could have took a while, but now you're willing. In April, okay, or they're willing. Either way, but I'm really strongly feeling like it's you. What's the magician in the world? Universe, can I get clarification on the magician in the world? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the magician with the world card? Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, I'm moving towards calmer waters with the Six of Swords. You're either moving away from them or you're moving towards them. Yeah, you're moving towards this new cycle. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pills. Damn. Yeah, the three of swords again. I almost want to take it out, but I'm going to let it fall out. Somebody's going to be very heartbroken about this. Could be both of you, but 
you're moving towards a soulmate with the two of cups and the two of cups you are moving towards a soulmate absolutely um okay What's the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, it is, it's going to be fruitful, the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, you, my friend, are bored with... You could be bored with your job, or maybe, maybe it's a lack of growth, because the Four of Cups with the sun came out. So maybe there's a lack of happiness in the situation that you're currently in, which could be why... You're moving away from it. Yeah, there's a lack of happiness. Maybe you can't be yourself with this person that you're with. You can't be your 100% self. And of course, you're going to cut that out because you guys are so good at being yourselves like that. You don't know any other way to be. Hanged man, yeah. Maybe you're seeing it. Maybe you're seeing this relationship differently now. And I think you're ready to move on. Um... Again, strong Pisces vibes. Maybe you're moving towards the Pisces. Um, yeah. Okay, let me leave that there. What's the Five of Wands for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What's the Five of Wands? Okay. What's the Five of Wands for Leo? Death card. Yeah, it could be ending it with the Scorpio, but you're done with this energy. You're done feeling... I feel like it's like a real heavy energy. Yeah, you're letting this go. Let's see what you're letting go of. What's the death card with the phone? King of Swords. Yeah, you are done, done. All right, you got the King of Swords twice in here with the death card. So, yeah, you're done not feeling stable with the Four of Wands. You're done not feeling fruitful. You're definitely moving away from this. It's just like you're completely discontent and you are completely bored of this. And you just, you don't feel like yourself in the connection that you're in. Could be vice versa, but I'm just strongly feeling like it's you. Okay. Clarify the Hermit. Could be moving towards a Virgo. Clarify the Hermit card. Or maybe you told yourself that you need to do this. Like you just got, maybe you had a dream or something and it said, leave shit um universe what's the hermit card okay that was a lot of messages but i saw the ace of wands and the um six of cups stood out to me when that just happened so yeah there could be like a new passion at the beginning with a virgo or they could be an ex of yours you could be walking away from a virgo or maybe going back to somebody. Or they want to come back to you. Yeah. Clarify the Virgo card. Maybe you're confused about a Virgo Seven of Cups. Or they're just an option of yours. Not to make it sound like that. But they're, they're an option. And I'm thinking you might think they're the right one. It doesn't have to be a Virgo. But any sign really. But yeah. You have an option. And with the Two of Cups here twice. It's the option. Mm -hmm. Again, could be a Gemini, just because this dude in this deck looks like a magician. So, either walking away from a Gemini or walking towards a Gemini. Doesn't have to be, though. Okay. Let's see. Clarify the Seven of Cups. What's Leo confused about? What's this confusion? Universe, what's this confusion? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April. What's the confusion? Okay, the offer, the page of cups. You're confused about an offer. And if it's this new offer, don't be because you are, it's absolutely, you guys are supposed to be together. They make you feel happy and you feel very connected to them. So yeah, maybe you're confused about it. I don't know. What's the tower? Just because the tower's here, I think you really, you're going to take action and you're going to make this decision to do what you got to do. So yeah, the tower is the Nine of Pentacles. Um, ooh, and Six of Cups. All right. 
though the tower is, maybe you've become single and you haven't been single for a while. I don't see this as bad. I mean, shit, it's the Nine of Pentacles, so you're feeling good, looking good. But yeah, by the or by the 15th or by the end of April, in April, sometime like that, or whenever you're watching this, it doesn't have to be time specific, but um, you could be becoming single and moving towards somebody else. Okay, shit. Maybe moving towards an ex, moving away from an ex. No, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to clarify. Hmm. What's the page of cups with the seven of cups? Let's just see. If they'll tell me who this offer is from. I mean, if you're resonating with this, you already know. What's the offer that Leo's confused about? What's this news? Okay, I'll take that. So the shadow side, you could be confused because maybe you feel like this person isn't all in. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, I don't know if you if you feel like they're all in, but that you definitely feel a connection with them for sure. Yeah, I think I think you're unsure if they're like a hundred percent in. And honestly, I'm not so sure either. Just like feeling it. I'm not sure, but just, I, they do love you. They do like you a lot, but maybe they're themselves. If you are dealing with a Virgo, go watch that video. Yeah. You have the right to be confused because usually I get like, I'll just know, but Maybe you guys are supposed to experience this because I don't know if it's going to tell me. Let's see. Let's get some advice for you. Maybe it'll tell me in the advice. What's the advice for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in April moving forward. What's the advice for Leo regarding this spread? Four of Earth. Hold on. Just hold on. I feel like be patient. You know, keep to yourself. I'm not getting like you're holding on because of lack. I just think you need to just be patient with this person. Because maybe they're not sure. Maybe they've been hurt. Maybe yeah, they're not sure. So yeah, just hold on. They'll make their decision. But you feel it. And with the Two of Cups, clarifying the Two of Cups, they feel it too. Like it's very mutual. You both feel this connection. Can I get more advice for Leo? Can I get more advice for Leo? Sudden moon rising in Venus. Oh, I'm gonna take this one. High Priestess, okay, so. Again, if you are dealing with the Pisces, the advice is go with it. Or go with what you feel. Go within yourself. If you feel to do this, if you feel like you need to leave, if you feel like this person is the one, you're right. Whatever you feel is your right. So, yeah. Hope this was helpful for you. Hope this was a good reading for you. Um, and, yeah, have a good April.